Okay, so I just went through and we got the Undead Fight perfect scored. So this is the team that we went through with. A fire based team, so fire party slot. We have Carbuncle on Terra and we gave her dual cast. She is our source of elemental buffs. Everybody has at least 20 ice and uh, lightning in any form that's going to get hit. So Terra herself, base form some resists and then we gave her dual cast and some limit fill so she actually had, just has the 12 crystals per turn that's all that we needed and then her shift form limit focus so 220 esper 300 evo 230 limit damage and then we have Roy so base form we gave him the dagger for a Mary chain just to help get our chain cap out of the way and then made him do wield just with the second knife other than that it's just resist stuff and then his shift form we're focused on his limit so we have 275 reaper and 130 limit damage for him cacteria base form is a ton of limit fill stuff and some resist. So aside from Dragon's Brush, Call of the Wild, we have max crystals per turn and an 800% rate boost. Her shift form, dual wielding fist, and then focus on LB damage. So we have 250 undead killer for her, only 65% limit boost. Shu Yu. Base form is just some resists. She really didn't do much other than help with the 100 chain on turn 2. And then shift, we got her focus on limit. So I get 100 uh, undead killer and she's got 275 limit damage. Grimlord Sakura, base form is our damage form because that's her fire form. So we have her resists and then just magic and killers. And made sure that she was using a rod. So she only has 200 on dead killer, but it, I mean she was there mostly for the chains. We did use her shift form for the chain to not do too much damage, just has resists there, nothing special really. And then realm was our evasion provoker so full draw attacks full evade has resists and then we used the rod in peril the killer buff and she chained with the uh, grim lord all right so that's the team that we just got the perfect with so we'll show you the actual fight and uh, how everything went all right turn one terra dual cast and we're doing lightning and ice resist and then everybody else can auto attack for some crystals turn two we're gonna go for the hundred chain So, Terra, Chaos Wave Awaken, Roy, Mira Chaining, Cacteria, we're going to do Chaos Wave Awakened, do her non-elemental one there, Realm is going to Mira Chain with Roy, just double up, and then our last two are going to do Bolting, and Grimloid can go to Shifted Form, and use a Weak Bolting there. Yeah, we should be able to get the 100 chain. There we go. Without doing too much damage, so that's good. There, right, turn three. Roy's gonna fill limit.
just whatever's a little mana there. Alright, not really necessary, but I guess everybody else is going to auto attack just for some extra crystals. We should have plenty of regen per turn to not matter. Alright, so Realm's gonna dispel. Let that take care of everything first. Terra redoes our Ice and Lightning buff. Cacteria goes to base form for a limit. Grimlord goes to base form. And we're going to Candy Master and do Magnus and treat. That's just going to help Cacteria fill up a lot faster. And then these two can just auto attack for some extra crystals to be super sure that we're good. Terra, base limit. Roy, base Magnus, just a fire buff himself more than what he's going to do for the team. Uh, let's see. All right. So Cacteria, we're going to Sacred Oasis, and Barb Boost herself, and then we'll do Unfaltering Resolve, just because Realm has some daggers, tiny bit of extra damage, and Grimlord. So let's. Add fire to Cacteria and Blaze Mind to boost her chain move and she can add fire to herself because whatever. And the other two can just guard. Alright, so Roy's gonna go first. So we're gonna Magnus and then do his two cooldowns. That's should do the least amount of damage. Yeah. Now Terra can set up for her limit. trance and just double release fire is fine there. Cacteria is going to shift and we're just going to do her cooldown because she's water imbued. So we're just going to give her a big water buff. Alright, so cooldown and double lotus. Grimlord can base limit. Realm Rod in Peril and Undead Killer. Okay. So a limit burst. A limit burst and a limit burst there. And now she you has to shift for her a limit burst. And Grimlord. Triple Chaos Wave Awakened. And Realm. Triple black. This way we're fire chaining. Alright, let's see if I can get this to cap.
I think we did. 10.8, look at that. There we go, 121,415. We have our perfect score. So it took a couple of tweaks on the team, but uh, wasn't too bad overall.